is no surprise. Whenever we come to a church, and a church in which, with its rich, in God's blessing, we lead better than when we are here. And that is why we keep coming here. We want to thank you not just for the inspirational songs rendered today, but the powerful message rendered. At the end of it, the following message is, whatever our lives. Yes. At the end of it, we must be able to say, it is well. It is well. Yes. Yes. And so, we leave with that message of comfort. That our sovereign God reigns and we did that one today. Amen. So the Lord is our shepherd. Yes. Our sovereign God. Yes. And even though we walk to the shadow of death, yes. we fear no evil. But the Lord is the bright and star in the so in the 23rd Psalm, we have all that is needed and more. A carer, a yes. protector, yes. a defender, yes. a provider of our faith, and all that is necessary and true. So that even in the midst of our enemies, we are showing prosperity. Yes. Yes. So how do you see that more churches? will stir the conscience of the nation and be more of us inside the church. The good thing going up by a Pentecostal church, I used to go to the window, and so many of us would. Every night to listen to see who will bring a testimony, who will be filled with the Holy Ghost. And we will have a nice time seeing people up and down the aisle praising and worshiping. But for us young then, it was somewhat a form of entertainment until somebody fell down with the spirit, the glasses on, and he's not going. And he said, That is a mystery. That has to be true. God. God is a sovereign God. He's still moving. And importantly, St. Kitsan Evis continues to be a nation under God. A nation respectful of God. A nation committed to set aside some area in our lives to give God thanks for His goodness. Amen. And I pray that the goodness of God continues to run after us in St. Kitsan Evis. So God will bless and protect us and prosper our nation. May God be the soul. Thank you very much.